for two i will introduce toolbar in vista software in my tutorial one i have already shown you how to download vista software and also i have introduced about a website from which you can get ci file for free so let's go to the vista software in this folder i have ci file downloaded from cod website we'll be considering example of ws2 then sodium chloride and the graphite so select this file and drag it to the vista software now on the top you will see the name for each ci file if you click on the respective file it will show the respective unit cell in the bottom output section you will see the detail about the ci file of so let's this one is as ws2 let us say lattice type is a p and the space group is 63 mmc space group 194 then we got the abc value and alpha beta gamma value and the xyz coordinate occupancy in all those details similarly this is for sodium chloride with the fm minus 3m cubic structure and then we got a carbon with r minus 3m hexagonal structure if you click on the summary then you will see the summary for respective file so ws2 unit cell and the summary is over here space group abc value volume alpha beta gamma and space group number similarly for sodium chloride all detail are visible here and for the graphite now let's go back to the sodium chloride if you, you can use your right click of the mouse and rotate this unit cell and if you want to zoom in zoom out then you can use this plus sign minus sign even by using mouse itself you can zoom in and zoom out okay if you click this one fit to the screen and then on this left hand corner you will see a b c and a star b star c star but that that's a a means view along the a axis so this is how it will view along the a axis and that also can be confirmed from these arrows view along the b axis view along the c axis but you may be confused why it looks same from all three different direction is because it's a cubic structure let's consider example of ws2 and do the same view along the a axis view along the b axis view along the c axis then view along the a star b star and c star okay so it looks different in three different direction then over here is a standard orientation of crystal shape so click over here so that's a standard orientation for sodium chloride this is the standard orientation for graphite this is the standard orientation back to sodium chloride we see these six arrows these arrows indicate rotation so this is rotated around the x-axis the rotation upside down side okay then rotation along the y-axis toward the left and toward the right and this is rotation around the z-axis that's in the circular motion the rotation step can be changed by changing this number then we got these four arrows over here these arrows are translate upward translate downward translate toward the left translate toward the right again the translation step can be changed by changing this number now we'll come to the tool menu over here you will see right now we have checked the box about the drag so we can use a mouse and move the unit cell if you choose the animation then it will start to animate by itself now here you can choose the push button or you can choose the random so that's a random animation so let's go back to the click and here you can change free rotation to around x-axis then around y-axis and then around the z-axis so back to the free rotation and back to the drag that's a by default then the style here you will see the show model style if you uncheck the model will be disappear only what you see the age of a unit cell okay and since this is a face centered cubic so you see the age for face centered cubic if you go to the ws2 this is hexagonal structure similarly for graphite hexagonal structure so back to nacl show mode now here you will see ball and stick so right now we see the ball and the stick if you choose the space filling it will change like this one if you check check the polyhedra it will look like this one wireframe look like this one and the stick look like this one so you can choose different format to present your same unit cell 
So let's come back to the polyhedra and then we'll go to the third option that's the object. In the object, again if you uncheck this box, your inner cell will be gone. If you uncheck the atom, the atoms will be gone. If you uncheck the bond, the bond will be disappeared. If you uncheck the polyhedra, polyhedra will be gone. So this option can help you to choose what you want to show. Now if you click on the polyhedra, over here you can change the color. If you, check, if you click on the bond, here you can change the color for the bond. If you check the atom, you can change the color of the atom. So let's first uncheck the polyhedra, click the atom and here change the atom color say pink so it's pink okay and then uh, in the bottom side you will see properties if you click on this one it will show different properties general atom bond polyhedron all so on i will cover this topic in next coming videos so then there is option for the boundaries and also for the orientation so i will discuss about those options in coming few videos then on the left hand side you will see the black arrow so that's in the selection mode if you select the white arrow with the white arrow you can choose or you can select any portion of your unit cell and then simply click delete button on the keyboard so those atoms will be deleted those bonds will be deleted if you want to get it back then just click ctrl z or command z it will appear again Then here we see a translate option. So if you choose this one, you can simply move your unit cell wherever you want, okay? Then we have a magnifying option. You can magnify using this option. And then we got option for the bond. So it can help you measure the distance between the two atoms. So if you select this one and select two atom, like this one is sodium and this is chloride. So once it got selected, you can go to the output and over here it will show you the bond distance between sodium and chloride that's a 2.81 angstrom let's uncheck this one select the bond again and let's this time use sodium and the second sodium so this time it shows a distance between two sodium that's a 5.62 okay so atom one is a sodium with xyz coordinate atom second is again 101 so all this detail can be found in this output section so let's go back to unselected one and then the second option is to measure the angle so you can choose any two at three atoms so this one this one and this one so it will help you to find the angle between these two uh, it will help to find angle at the sodium which is connecting to two chlorine atom so this angle is around 90 degree this option i have never used so far so i'm not sure about this one right now but possibly in the coming few videos i will be able to cover it and the last one is the interfacial angle mm. i know how to use this one but we cannot use it right now in this tutorial so i will explain later in the coming tutorial that how to use this interfacial tool okay so that's all for today i hope through this video you learn basic tools of vista software do like share and subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos in the coming video, I'll be covering tutorial number three and discussing about the crystal structure.